What's up everyone, my name is Silly Ninja and it's time for a new indie adventure. This week I'm going to be playing a little bit of Haste. I, I actually forgot where I got this game. I think it was Itch.io or something like that. I'll put the link in the description below so you can play this as well. It's actually a pretty simple concept. For those of you who've played Super Hot, uh, this system is actually the other way around. In Super Hot, uh, it's, it's basically a shooter game and time only moves when you do. This game is the complete opposite. It's a free running game and time stops whenever uh, I move. As you can see, that car over there uh, is stopping, or is at least slowing down. And when I stop moving, it gets hit by a huge truck. So I have no idea what happened over there. I think you're supposed to pick up a key here. And then a lot of water comes in and you drown instantly. I have no idea what's happening in this game. There's no story to tell you what's going on. Uh, there's no markers to guide you anywhere, which I think is pretty hardcore. I believe we have to use this pad. This opens up and we enter into some sort of gym area. Now, I do believe we need to start here and do some sort of long jump. Then I have no idea what to do here because I can't get up this thing. And as soon as I try to get over this bit over here, stuff starts to go wrong. You see, water levels are rising right now, so we really need to hurry. And for some reason, you get randomly electrocuted. I don't know if I ran into anything over there. Um, you guys are going to have to tell me. And there's the truck again. There is a lot of blood in this game. This is supposed to be a free-running game. Oh my god, look at my feet. I drowned again. Did you see my feet? Look at my feet. I'm a fucking freak. Am I a ninja? I believe ninjas wear these types of stuff. I, I, I don't know. Let's try and get through this first part of the level because I've been playing for a good 10 minutes and nothing has happened so far. We've managed to do this part and then I believe you need to go this way. What if we go this way now and then uh, try to get up here? Oh, that was wrong, was it? Okay, let's, let's get back. Uh, go over here. And where now? We go this way, and then we try to go this way, and we drown again. I, uh, what, what is going on? So I think I'm just going to skip to a point where I've figured out what to do, because apparently this game is so ultra mega uber hard. Nope. What is... I... Oh, we finally made it up to the ledge. Okay, that's better. We're improving. Look at that. Okay, up to, whoa, oh, whoa, whoa. Press jump in mid-air to perform a landing roll. Yes, yes, ma'am. I just want to know which way to, to actually jump, because I'm all the way in the back here, and I don't know what to do. Wait, maybe we get up to that thing. Jump! And it didn't jump. Oh, that's okay. And... No! Drown again. This game is seriously hard. Okay, guys, I've been playing for five minutes now, and I can't, for the life of me, get to the next uh, area. Um, and this is only, I feel this is only like a tutorial level, and I feel like such a noob for not being able to... Oh my god! This is this is a free-running game, and this guy is so bad at free-running. I think I, I'm better at free-running than this guy is, and I make videos on the internet. That is not a compliment. Okay, I think I'm just gonna go to the internet and see if I'm missing something here, because I can't do anything. Bear with me, I'll be right back. Okay, so I've looked up a couple of guides on the internet, mainly uh, some videos on uh, on YouTube, because there isn't really guides for this internet. And the best way to do this first part just seems to be skipping all of this and just running right ahead to see if you can uh, get to here on time. And you basically can, which is cool. Uh, then you're supposed to skip this whole part, uh, run underneath this bit, go up here, I believe. Yeah, I, I'm serious, guys. This was seriously the best video I saw on the internet of a guy doing this. It is basically skipping all of the level just to get ahead. Got the key card? Good. Get to the subway station behind that building. I'll lock the door behind you to slow them down. What the, what the kind of fucking freak are you? Any Jesus. Oh, man. There's a helicopter coming my way. Let me in, let me in, let me in, let me in. Okay, go back. I don't know what's going on, but... Oh, the whole thing collapses. Okay. Oh, man. We died. As I said, this game might be an early uh, alpha or, or a development version. I don't really know. As far as I can tell, it's actually pretty well designed. I mean, yeah, you can critique it all you like, but... The premise of the game is actually pretty simple, it's actually pretty cool as well. Oh, that rises pretty quickly, and I was too late there. 
it's usually at this point where I give up on a game, simply because I'm not the type of guy who likes uh, extraordinarily hard or difficult games to play. I like my games to be a sort of relaxation. I like to come home from a day uh, of hard labor and just play a little video game to relax, not to be extra stressed. I mean, this is basically what I do all day. I try to keep moving so that everything goes as slow as possible, because when I stop moving, things go too fast for me to keep up and I usually die. So it's it's actually a pretty good metaphor for yeah I got the key card. It's actually a pretty good metaphor for my day-to-day -day life. Now let's see how far we can go uh, with this part because last time I stepped over here and a big chopper came and he basically blew everything up. But the video said that for some reason stuff would crash and you could actually jump on a balcony here, which kind of works, which is cool. Now I believe we do need to keep moving. Uh, I, I don't know where we need to keep moving. Okay, this way, over here. As you can see, this is fairly fast-paced, which I like. Where are we supposed to go? Where are we supposed to go? This game is so difficult that it doesn't even give you an indication. And we die. So this part again, wait for the chopper to blow up everything. A little bit more blowage, please. A little bit more, this is okay. Jump on to, I don't know. Onto the balcony, there we go. That actually went pretty okay. Um, I'm stuck behind a door. Pick up this secret over here. Don't fall out of the window. That's what the guy in the video did. Uh, go over here, and I think what we're going to want to do... What happened? I thought that door was open. Is just jump out of the window. And the world explodes! Okay, guys, I think I'm just going to leave it at that. There is no realistic way I'm going to make it past that one point with the chopper and the building and the thing. Uh, I'll leave a link to wherever I found this game. It seems pretty interesting, and I I'm not really up to it, but if you're someone who enjoys these type of games where you just need to keep going and not look uh, behind you to see where everything is, uh, this just might be for you. And I, I do have to say, the free ring part feels really flowy. It feels really natural. It's... it's, it's um, you can't really grab things with your hand, so if I were to jump on that ledge now, uh, usually in things like Mirror's Edge, I'm used to uh, the protagonist grabbing the ledge as you come near it. But as you can see there, if you miss a ledge, you're just gonna fall. Uh, it's really hardcore in that way, but I, I can see how for some people that is what they are looking for in a game. It's not really for me, uh, but like I said, I'll put the link in the description below if you like it. Do go and check it out. Let me know what you think. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.